This is my video on how to do Minecraft character drawing. I am LaserZap and this is how to draw characters. Okay, first you need to draw a, a black square. Today I'm drawing a creeper. Then you put a line next to it so my hand from away. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, like that. Step two, you do a creeper face like this. So you put it like this and then colour that in. I'm using create Coriola black pen. So it will look like this in the corner there. Then you want to draw a rectangle underneath your head and then put an, another line next to it then you want so it looks like this then you want to do two little squares at the very bottom of that rectangle you just draw then then you want to put a box next to that and there so then it will look like this then you will Get rid of this creator pen and put it there. Then you will get a light green pen like this and then colour the whole creeper in. Now I am going to show you the finishing product after I have finished this picture so you can see the creeper there and then I will draw a background so you will be able to see how I make this look like a really good picture so then you want to get the black pen then you want to put a line like this all the way down the bottom of the creeper is so you want to be able to draw a line here and make sure you've got a good pen for this otherwise it will run out so I'm going to get another look so then after you've done that line you want to get a big square there to make the moon now the moon is there because it's night time so you really sh should do the moon so I'll show you the product so far then you're colouring you want to do little tiny squares all around your sky to make it look like stars from my eye. Okay, so after you've done these stars, you would want to colour in the back of the sky either a really dark blue or or a black. So I'm going to use a really dark blue to make it look like it's just turning night. So I'll carry on after I finish that. Okay, so I'm colouring it in this colour, so that I'm using Crayola pens, so that's all you really need to do. So make sure you keep in the lines and don't colour over the stars. If you do, don't worry, you can just colour over the star completely and it will still look fine. These videos will be to um, four 
or five minutes long but this one because it's my first video it might be longer I'm going to be doing lots of things on this channel I'll be done in a few minutes so come back when I've done this After this picture, I will draw another picture. It might not be as good as this one, but I'm going to try my best. Also, you might see I'm using my left hand. That's because I'm left-handed. So I'm quite, I'm quite a good artist, although I'm left-handed. I'm trying to be anti dexterous but it might not work because my writing and drawing isn't as good as being in my right hand so my arm might be in the way here but that doesn't really matter just need to move down so you can see me Oh, I've been recording for 6 minutes and 30 seconds now, it might change when I upload the video, so you might not, um, it might have been a different time when I say this. I will do other things other than drawing. I might even play Minecraft in the quarter with my sister and brother. I might split it into part parts. Here's my crafting table here. You might like the look of it. So I might draw that soon. probably upload these nearly every day but sometimes if I'm on holiday or on, on a day out they might not be uploaded that day so I don't expect them being uploaded every single day and also my dad needs his computer to go to work So I'm nearly finished the sky and I will be done in five, four, three, two, one, I'm done. So here is the effect so far. So I'm going to do the grass so at the bottom there and I'll be back when finished. So here we go. So I'm I'm just doing a creeper. Um, so I might do other characters later, but I thought the creeper's the easiest to do because it's green, but cannot see any colours. But the background's different. I'd like a lot of likes in this video if you do it and if you want to send me your pictures on YouTube so I can see how you've done it and it, if it looks good I'll probably share the videos at, in the next video so I'll show you the video 
the pictures of what yours look like and if you're lucky enough I might even send a message to you so you want well done maybe not all the time like I said earlier so I am using Crayola super tips washable markers and the 24 ones so you might be able to get them in entertain or Tesco any place like that also I might do loom bands what are quite popular at the moment because I've got a pack, I got a pack a few days ago and I've been doing, I've been doing them at school so I might do it then. so this is the product so far so it's looking pretty good so I will show you uh, at the end of this video I will show you um, the the product of my old picture I did a few days ago. Actually, I might stop for a minute and show you it now. So, let the right there, I'm just getting it. Here it is, it's lava there and the Minecraft Steve there and then he's the only one that gets diamond there. So I'm um, carrying on with this picture here. I will check the Tom comments but I'll probably check about 50 or something to see what you say you'd like me to draw but I won't I won't read all the comments so you might as well do it on the first day when it's uploaded so that be good and I'd like as much likes as possible if that's okay I'm not I'm, I don't want loads but I'd like a lot I don't want so many that I I become famous, but I want enough to to be recommended on YouTube. So this is how it's looking so far. I will be done in a few more minutes, and then yeah. You don't need to fill in all the gaps because it doesn't really matter because it still looks good and it makes it look classier and it makes it look like you've drawn it because some people are naughty in front of pictures of other people from the internet and say they drew it and actually they didn't so I'm actually drawing it now so I can show you that I'm actually drawn so creepers aren't my favourite thing because I found diamonds this morning and they blew me up, my brother up, so I didn't really enjoy that. So I didn't use my diamonds but I was in the middle of getting the diamond and so I, I, I'm doing my video now, you might hear some cars in the background, my brother and sister maybe because but I'm in, up in my house at the moment on my kitchen table so you might hear that. So I'm nearly done, I'll show you the effects of it. 
after I finished. I've just got this last corner here to go. So here I go. So I'm done now and this is the at last effect. So if I bring this one and this one together, they look quite good. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. Hello, this is Lasers App and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Drawings. Today in this episode we are going to be drawing a pig from Minecraft again. So first you want to draw a square. Last episode we drew a creeper. Then next to the square you want to draw a, a little square and in that the big square what you just draw the square next to you want to draw two little squares like that. Hopefully that's big enough for you to see. Then you want to draw a eye or the pig. So you want to make sure it's a blank. Sorry if you can hear my brother and sister in the background. Then you want to draw another eye for your pig. So it looks like this at the moment. Then you want to draw a big square around all all of what you've just done then on that square you want to draw a, a long rectangle next to that and a little mouth there like that then you want to draw a, a square underneath your pig and a, a two rectangles there and then a rectangle next to the rack you just drew. Then you want to draw a long rectangle next to the big rectangle underneath your pig. You want to draw a, a back leg and then up. next to this you want to draw a tiny little leg to make the picture look 3D. Then you want to split that leg in half. Then you might want to do it a little tail. Then you want to get a pinkish colour, so I'd suggest Crayola Super Tips. So you can get them in Tesco and places like that, like I said in the last video. Then you want to colour it in. Also on the side here, you want to give it a little rectangle like that for its ear. Then you want to colour the whole pig in like this. It doesn't really matter what colour you colour it in, but as long as it's a pinkish colour, it doesn't matter. So, because I'm doing a baby pig, so I might do it with a sty background or something like that in the background. Or I might just leave it blank and then I'll, I'll show you the finishing product in the background in the next video and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll show you my pig and it, you, you can go and do a background you like. And I'm nearly done now, colouring in its face. So I will be done in a few more minutes. On the last episode we drew the creeper and I also drew the Minecraft one that I showed you in the last episode. And now I'm drawing the pig. So hope hopefully you like this pig and I will upload it to YouTube today the day right after the creeper so I will show you on every episode I will show you each picture 
So I'm just about to finish the head. Now, so the head is done now. So you see, like, it's really, it's looking really good at the moment. <coughs> now, sorry for coughing, but that's me. So here, I'm colouring in the square white under this. Like, I've accidentally drawn there a little line. You might not be able to see it. See? There? Okay. So, that's a mistake, but I can sort that out after the video, so don't worry about that. Do you want to keep any lines? I'm going to do a Minecraft video later today or tomorrow. So... Remember to colour in the back legs and make sure it doesn't, you don't go over the black lines just in case it turns darker than you want it to be. So I'd say just colour in the pig and I know this is shorter than the first video. The la last video was 15 minutes, which was quite long. So here is the finishing product. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hello, this is Hello, this is Laser Zap and welcome to another video. Today we will be drawing a a zombie um trying to break open a door. So um first I'm going to show you my last pictures what I've been doing. So the first one is this one. What I showed you in my first episode. The second one is this one, the creeper one, like on my first episode. This this one I did the background for, saying pigs rock, and there's the pig I taught you how to draw. And then today we'll be doing the zombie. So first you need to go and do a a um two eyes so two black squares like this quite fairly near to each other then you need to draw a head this pen's a bit rubbish so I might try using a different one okay so then you need to draw a head then you need to draw a body. Then next to the head you need to draw a little square, making it 3D. Same with the body. Then do the arms on each side. Then you do it along there. And then you do another arm on the other side, make sure these are 3D. This one's going to be very short today. So I've nearly been recording for two minutes now. So I'm going to do the legs, both legs. Then we need to color this one in. So we need to draw a little mouth. Then we need to colour in his head green. So use this Crayola pen. And then you can cut, find this in shops in England. So I will colour my thing in. So it needs to be a greenish colour. So because for the face of the zombie. And then... um. I will do the background of a house in the background and I showed you the background of the pig earlier so I will show you how to um, do it how to do the background in another video so it won't be part of this series it will be part of another series okay yep so it's a bit like a, a little one it's not it's like a baby zombie so 
I would suggest using this colour, but because my ones ran out, I'm going to use a blue pencil. So you, you can get loads of blue pencils from the shop. So I will take these two here, just in case one breaks. So I'm going to use this one first. So it's a blue pencil, just a normal blue pencil. Okay, then colour it in. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to tell you a joke. What what there were two cats who were trying to go across the river. One was called Under Trois Cat, what is one, two, three in French, and the other one was called um, One Two Three Cat. So they both had a race. Which cat won? Well, the one, two, three cat won because under two cat sank. Get it? Under two cat sank is one, two, three, four, five in French. So I've nearly been recording for five minutes now. So I would use the blue pen, this one, because mine doesn't look so good with this blue colour. But you can use pencil. So I've done with the top. Then you want to get this colour. What's it, a dark navy blue? then you want to colour in the legs this colour make sure you leave a little gap below so here at the very bottom so like that and that will be where you do the grey bit like on Steve's foot because Steve is Minecraft version of a, zom a zombie is Steve but with green face black eyes stuff like that so then I'm going to get this grey colour and I will colour in the bottom here for the zombie's foot so I'm going to do a door in the background so I'm going to use this orange colour and I'm going to do some yellow and I'm going to use black so I will start by doing a square, I mean rectangle, then put four squares in on the rectangle for the door's windows. Then you want to do a line for the handle, then you want to colour in the squares a yellow for the light inside the door. So I will do that. Then we want to colour it in this colour so this looks like a door of, of a house so I'm going to make my house out of wood so spruce wood or shall I say spruce wood or spruce wood sorry for the wide eyes there I like popping eyes Then I'm going to um, the house is made out of stone and spruce, so I'm going to do a little bit of stone. But you can do whatever you like. You can go on the internet and search in Google Images, Minecraft, and. Um, blocks and then you can copy the colour of the blocks using your Crayola pens so here they are and then I'm going to colour in the house so I'm nearly done with the house and I just need to go around the outline with black so this colour and that 
and then on the side I'm going to do spruce logs so I'll get black and brown for the spruce wood so here I'm colouring it in now so I am going to do more Minecraft videos and DS games and stuff like that but the most about this channel is going to be drawing Minecraft so I'm going to show how they look with all of them together so you, you've been seeing me holding them up but now I've got so many drawings that I can't hold them up anymore so I'm going to put them on the table and show you from that view. So we've just finished the house and here is the result of the picture. So here's the picture and then I'm going to put it so it faces you guys. And we've got these two so here are the four pictures. So the pig there, something there, the creeper here, and the steel here. So I'll go through the slide. So thank you for watching, and I am lasers up. <gasps> Please subscribe. Oh, this is Lasers Up, and welcome to another video. Today, in this video, we are going to be drawing Iballistic Squid. He is a well known YouTuber who also go, plays with Stampy. So, let's start with what all the things we normally do with the head. So, do the head. Two line, a line in the middle. Then you want to draw the shape. What make is like a cross, but a very fat one. Then you want to draw some squares. So I'd suggest four or five. So I'm going to do four. Then you need to do a big square on the side, and do a little black square to make his eye. So. After that, you want to draw his arm and make sure it's 3D and then draw his body like this and then draw his other arm so like this and you want to draw up like that then you want to draw his leg so here and here then you want to colour it in so I would use this Crayola pen so this one here it's the dark blue it's a Crayola super tip then you want to colour it in I'd start with the body, then colour the arms in and uh, stuff like that. So colour it all in blue except for this bit and this bit there. So the eye and the mouth and the teeth don't colour in, the rest is blue. So don't do that and so you need to draw colour in every bit except for the mouth, the teeth and the eye. So here here's me colouring the legs in. Like I have I was suggested to do this by um Dan no um MS Dan twelve who I would go and check it out. I'll put his name in the description. So that's below the video so if you like this video I will do more I might do stampy next time but 
I'm not very good at drawing stampy, so I'll practice for the video and then I'll do it. Also, if you see my latest that theme tune, you you will see the stampy and squid picture. Like I drew that by hand, but on the computer. So I'm nearly finished now. I just need to colour in his body until it's done. My crayon pens are slowly running out, so I'm going to get some new ones soon. But I've not got much left. So I've still got lots that work, but once they start to run out, they don't look as good. But lucky for Squid, he, he doesn't um, have a, um, he has some lighter patches and darker patches and I managed to get the darker patch in the, exactly the right place. Then get a red, that red, and then the colour in his mouth. Now you don't need to colour in his teeth, but you can if you want to, but I don't have a white Crayola pen because they don't come with white because the paper's white. So I'm nearly done. I might just put a little comment next to it saying I ballistic squid. Then I'm going to do my signature, so... So I hope you have enjoyed seeing this being drew, drawn. So this is it. So... Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.